you guys had at least five. Great. How many of you guys had at least one column? At least 30. Okay. How many had two columns? 60. Hands up. We had 60. One, two, three people. Okay. 70 or more. Which is one? You got 170? Almost not quite. Just, just, you one more. You'd have 69. How many did you have? Brittany had 30. How many? 59. How many do you have, Graham? 74. 74. So she wins. Let's give her a round of applause. Nice job. Now, what if I gave you, okay, what if I gave you another 10 minutes? Okay, think of my name to write down. What if I gave you 20 minutes? What if I gave you 30 minutes and your cell phone? Or I give you 30 minutes and your Facebook list, if you use that. What if I gave you 30 minutes and your church directory, right? I know, exactly. You can't write too fast, right? Okay. We just did a brainstorming exercise. Tomorrow we're actually going to go through and we'll qualify and see who would be actually people that would make sense to do a process demo. Yeah, we're going to use part of it, but we're going to use some of the stuff for other things too. One of your assignments, guys, I'm going to give you today is going to be to continue to add on to this list. It's one of the assignments that I'm going to give you. Okay, basically what you just did was just gave recommendations. That's what you just did. Okay, can you see how it's easy for someone to give at least two in a demo? Because that's what you just did. You just thought of people you knew, okay? You just get, it's easy to do that. You can get hundreds written down. Remember what I talked about earlier? People don't buy Ketco because they know you, right? They'll see it because they know you. They buy because of the product, right? Ketco's not a low price empathy item like Girl Guy Cookies, okay? They're not buying them because you're cute. Not to say you're not cute, but that's not why they're getting it, okay? They're getting Ketco because it's a great product they're going to use forever. So to give you some reminders for tomorrow, you guys can go to page 34 for me. Let's write down some... It's uh, assignments for day one, okay? And I'm going to get you to jot these down. Number one assignment, most important one between now and tomorrow, okay, is to add to the names list we just did. Add to your names list. Add to your names list. Remember, I did say it doesn't matter where they live because part of the exercise is writing down somebody you know, but then because you just wrote them down, they made you think of somebody else you wouldn't have thought of that person unless you wrote this person down. Does that make sense? Okay, so don't worry about where they live. Don't worry about their age. Just write down anybody, okay? Add on to your names list. Use your resources, okay? Use your cell phone. Use your Facebook list. Use your yearbook, whatever you want to use. Fortune Magazine wrote an article and said the average person knows a thousand people by name and face. A thousand people. So I'm not, my assignment's not a thousand, okay? You don't have to do a thousand. But I need you to do a hundred. That's what I need you to do, okay? A hundred. If anybody in the room thinks you're going to have a hard time writing at least 100 between now and tomorrow when training starts, stay after today, okay, and then we'll work out a separate goal for you. But if you just work on it, you'll get it. Yeah. I know, like, I don't know how many people by the name Chris. And okay, so put then, then what you need to do, I should have referenced this before, put down the initial of their, or write their last name. Okay. If you've got people the same first name, then do put the last name. Okay. Yeah, I was That's important. <laughs> so everybody should spend... You know, at least a half an hour. You can, you, I mean, some of you are already over halfway there, but at least a half hour on it, okay? That's really important for tomorrow, okay? And assignment number two. Oh, sorry, part of this, there's a little prize. Whoever has the most names over 100 gets my comfortable chair over there for training tomorrow. You get the leather swivel, oh my God. beautiful <laughs> armor so chair, bad. okay? Because <laughs> I know your chairs are not comfortable, okay? So whoever gets the most names over 100 gets the chair, okay? Number two, review part of the presentation we did today. You will feel more confident tomorrow if you review it at home, okay? So review parts we covered today. You don't need to go ahead, but just those parts. Number three, bring two types of food we can cut tomorrow. Two types of food. Maybe an apple and a piece of celery. Maybe a carrot and a piece of bread. Maybe uh, a pear. I don't care. Two types of food. Okay? The more interesting the food, the more interesting the cutting thing, okay? If you do have a little bit of cheese at home, you want to bring that? Cool. If you got some bread, if you got some unique fruit and vegetables, bring those, okay? Two types of food for the cutting clinic tomorrow. Number four, assignment. Make sure you eat before training, okay? Training starts at 11. Eat something before we start, okay? It's a good idea. That helps us before we take our first break. So 11 to 5 tomorrow, okay? Number five, we're going to have a junk knife contest. Bring the worst knife you can find in your house, okay? Worst one, just the worst one, like wood adult, parcel tank, falling apart, bring the worst thing you can find, okay? We're going to have a prize for the worst knife. Wrap it in a bag, though. You look kind of odd on the bus with a knife. Okay? <laughs> Number six, 
Bring your social insurance number and direct deposit info if you can get it organized by tomorrow, okay? If you have a void check, bring it. If you can go to the bank and get the four. It just helps. It's easier to get tomorrow than it is for Saturday or Monday, right? So just, I'm just giving you a heads up. It's good to bring it for tomorrow. And number seven, the last one, is to arrive vector time. That's 15 minutes early. Awesome. Sorry. Right on. It's just, it's just telling you for tomorrow. Arrive vector time. That would be get started on time. So arrive at 1045. Okay, that would be fantastic. Oh, sorry, I did say last one. I'm giving you one more. One more. Sorry. Call for PDI. Okay, this is PDI. That phone number that I gave you on the front of your book. Anytime before we start training, okay, anytime between <coughs> 8 and 11, like 1045 tomorrow, call. Okay. And all I want you to let me know, guys, is two things. What you're bringing for food to cut up, that's one. And how many names you got on your list, okay? So food and how many names you got. That's all I need you to tell me. It's a quick call. If you get the machine, leave a message, say this is my name, okay? And that's the info that I need, okay? If the demo feels kind of fuzzy, don't worry, guys, okay? Because it should. You just were new. We just got started with it, so don't worry about it. We're going to do lots of practice with tomorrow. If you feel like you got a hold on it, cool. Okay, you're a little ahead. That's great. Um, but don't uh, practice with anybody we would actually do a demo for, okay, between now and tomorrow. And if I could ask, just for like three minutes, if I could get Brianna, Nicole, Piper, Ryan, and Bevan, just to stay for like three minutes for me, that would be awesome. And uh, everyone else, you guys are good to go. If you've got a question, you can ask me. We'll leave the blue books here for now. You can take them home tomorrow. And um, yeah, sorry for my five minutes.